Hi and welcome. In the previous two videos, we have seen OPC communication with Ignition SCADA. In the first video, we have seen Ignition SCADA communication with Process OPC UA server. And in the second video, we have seen Ignition SCADA communication with a metric and OPC DA server. Okay. Now in this video, we are going to see Ignition SCADA communication with Modbus TCP devices. Okay, right now we don't have TCP devices, so that is why we are going to use some simulator, Morbus simulator, to use as a TCP device. So, first of all, we will go to our Ignition SCADA gateway homepage, and then after we will go to config section to add our Morbus TCP device. Okay, previously, when we have to add OPC devices, then we have to go to OPC connection, but now we want to add devices like PLC or Modbus devices so that we have to go to here OPC US section in OPC US section we have a device connection so we have to go here in device connection to add our Modbus or some PLC devices so we will go to our device connection and you can see here there is no device available so we have to add one device and which device we want to add is Modbus TCP so we will click on this link create new device and here we have to choose the driver which driver you want to use to connect with your device so we want to connect with our modbus tcp device so that is why we have to use modbus tcp device you can see here connect to device that implement the modbus tcp protocol so we want to connect with Modbus TCP devices so that is why we have to choose this modbus tcp driver and then we have to press next now we have to assign the name of our Modbus TCP device. So it is my Modbus TCP device. So that is why I am using MBTCP. Now we have to enter the IP address of our Modbus TCP device. So my Modbus TCP simulator is running in my system. So that is why IP address of my system is 127.0.0.1, which is my local host IP. And the port number is 502. And then we will create new device so you can see the status right now it is disconnected now it is connected so my driver ignition driver has successfully communicated with my this simulator okay modbus tcp simulator now we want to see some tag in action so how can we do that so to add the tag in this device we have to click on this more button and then we have to add addresses here but first of all where we can see this device and when in the future we will add some tag so at which place we can see the ad so first of all we will go to opc quick client and inside the ignition opc us server you can see the devices if you expand the device you can see our modbus tcp device so whatever tag you will create inside the modbus tcp device that will be available inside this folder right now there is no tag because we didn't create any tag so let's go back and create some tag so we will go back to device connection and our modbus tcp device and then we will click on more and then addresses now we have to click on add row to add our tag so we will click on add row and then you can see the different different blanks we have to fill those blanks so our first requirement is prefix so what kind of prefix you want to give to your tag so i want to give prefix as a, a and then what is the starting address and what is the ending address it means how much quantity you want to read so i want to read from 1 to 10 and then what is the unit id of your modbus device so unit id of my modbus device is 1 and what type of modbus register you want to read so we want to read holding register in integer form okay and then after from which modbus address you want to read so i want to read from modbus address 40001 so that is why i have to write here one and then we can save this so right now it is disconnected now it is connected now we can go back to our opc connection sorry now we can go back to our opc quick client and then ignition opc us server devices modbus tcp now you can see our devices with unit id 1 if you expand the unit id 1 you can see our tag a1 a2 up to a10 now if you 
press on R button, you can see the value 0. R stands for read, W stands for write, and S stands for subscribe. If you if you are subscribing to this tag, okay, A1, and whenever the value of A1 is changed, you will get the notification here, downside. See the subscrip subscription, okay? So there is no tag available right now, but if I am I add this tag to subscribe, then you can see value is zero. Now if I am changing the value of this tag, so I'll go to my Morbus simulator and I will change the value 11. So you can see value is 11. Now if I read from here also, then I can see the value is 11. If I write the value to 12 and then I press write, then you can also see the value is 12 right now and you can also see here value is 12. So this is subscribe, this is write and this is read. So this is how you can communicate your Modbus device with Ignition SCADA. Now we will go to our Ignition Designer Launcher and then we will add some tag here. So we are going to browse devices and then Ignition OPC UA Server, Devices, Modbus TCP Device, Unit ID 1 and our whole folder. So in this folder we have tag from A1 to A10 so we will add those tags and then we will press OK and our tag will be available here soon. So our tag is available so we will rename this Morbus TCP Simulator SIMU LATR Simulator Tags. Now we will expand this and you can see the value so if I put auto increment on our second tag 40,002, you can see the value is updating here. And if I open this parallelly and if I write something on our 40,003 tag, suppose 55, then we have to enable read and write more. So it's enable. Now you can see the value is 55 here. So this is how you can communicate your Ignition SCADA with a Modbus device and if you want to add this tag in a display just drag and drop and you want again LED display then here is your LED display. Okay and you want to write something to tag then just uh, drag and drop the A4 tag and then control and then you can choose any of this button to change the value of tag so we will choose a slider as of now and uh, we will go to preview mode and then we will update the tag value see 62 and 62 so if i modify 44 then my slider will change so so this is a uh, bi-directional communication so you can modify the tag value from ignition SCADA as well and you can also modify the tag value from your uh, Modbus device as well. So in OPC also you can modify the tags from ignition SCADA as well and you can also modify the tag from directly server OPC UA or OPC DA server. Okay. So this is how you can communicate with ignition SCADA with your Modbus TCP devices. So if you have any question, any doubt regarding this, you can ask me in the comment section or you can ask me in the email or you can directly ask me on the telegram. Now I want to add something in this video is when you go to our uh, device connection and then when you click on more and then go to addresses. Now you can see starting is 1 and ending is 10. So it will uh, fetch 10 addresses from our Modbus device. Now I just want to fetch only 5 address then I can change value from 1 to 5 and then if I press the save button and then I go to OPC quick client and if I expand our device then you can see here uh, a value from A1 to A5 available here and if you go to our Modbus simulator then value from this holding register 40001 and 40005 will be available here so if i press read you can see the value 12 value 416 as available here so if you change these uh, addresses a value of these addresses 
that will affect your tag i hope you got my point and here you can see modbus address so we have specified modbus address 1 so it will always try to read from our modbus address 40001 if i write here 5 so what this ignition scala will do it will start reading my modbus address from 40005 okay so we will press save and then we will check so i have saved this and then we will go to opc quick client and then uh, we will expand our device and then the prefix are same a1 to a5 but when you press read you can see the value is zero previously when all tag name are same but starting address was one but right now starting address is five so if i write something in my tag so this is fifth number of tag 40005 and again i try to read then you can see the value 5 is available here and if i write 6 here then value will value 6 will be available on my 40006 address so uh, we will go back to our device connection so when you make this kind of address sheet you have to uh, take care about this modbus address from which modbus address you want to read the registers okay and how many registers you want to read you have to specify here so if you specify one to five then ignition scada will only read five holding register from your modbus device and if you specify here one then ignition scada will try to read from 40001 address and if you specify here 3, then Ignition Scada will try to read from 40,003 address and it will read 5 address. So 40,003, 40,004, 40,005, 40,006 and 40,007. So this is how this prefix start and and this modbus address is work. Now you want to read some floating values or integer 32, then you have to change your modbus register type here. So we will see later in detail in the upcoming videos but this is for now so you have a basic understanding of uh, if you want to modify something then you should know how to modify this so i hope it is clear okay so we will minim we will save this and we will minimize this so still if you have any question any doubt any concern then you can ask me in the comment section you can ask us on the mail or you can directly ask us on the telegram okay so, ta-da, bye-bye, see you in the next video.